Okay, well the, all right, well the Urals, they, they have a windshield for the sidecar that you've seen in some of the other videos, and Benny, my husky, is a fairly large dog, he doesn't like to sit behind it because it's right in his face when he sits down, so he's constantly putting his head around it, and when he gets tired of that, he's just uncomfortable, he, he looks uncomfortable sitting behind it, so what I wanted to do was try to get something that could go up there and still deflect the air for him because he doesn't like it when there's no windshield. Uh, that, that would just break the air up enough that he could enjoy riding if he sits down. So I found this uh, on eBay from a Chinese seller. It's uh, actually designed, I think it said for the uh, Dnieper um, sidecar, but they're pretty much identical with the Urals dimensionally. And so I took a chance and ordered one. It came in from China. It actually got here fairly quick. Uh, it's, it's as described. I don't see any trouble with it. It feels nice and solid. Uh, looks like quality. If, if I were going to fault it, the only thing I would say is that it's not very refined. Um, it, it needs some polishing. You can see where the work's been done to it. This is rough where the welding was done. There's a few burrs here and there, nothing major, nothing that I don't think that 30 minutes of a uh, little bit of flitz polish and elbow grease can't clean up and make it look really good. You can see a little bit of dirt there. You can tell they, they polished it, but there are some scratches and stuff to it that I'll buff out. Um, still worth what I paid. I'm not upset or anything. I, I think it's, it's a value. I think it's worth the money. And it does come with a piece of plexiglass that is new. Uh, it's been cut out and it's got protector on both sides. I won't take that off till I get it installed. Here's the frame. Like I said, it's pretty substantial. I'm, I'm squeezing on that fairly hard and it's not collapsing. It's, it's, it's flexible but sturdy, uh, which I'm pleased with. I was worried that it might be just really cheap and flimsy, but that doesn't appear to be the case. Uh, came packed well and showed up, like I said, very quickly, um, about a week. Uh, so, yes, it's not bad at all. So I really want to get this installed. And one thing that I did notice, the set screws that go in just pinch, dig into the plexi. I, I don't know. Yeah, I'm going to think about that. I may actually drill a hole here or at least a partial hole, so this screw will go in and bite into the plexi a little more. Because um, if it loosens up any at all, or if you try to over tighten it, it, it might crack the plexi. I don't know uh, if I want to just put these down and trust it. Probably be fine, but uh, belt and suspenders kind of approach. I may drill a hole and put the screw in and put a little bit of Loctite on it or something so that I, I'm sure it will never come off and fly up and hit anybody or hit the dog. So, all we're going to do is uh, drill a couple of holes in the right place and get it installed. So, let's uh, show you how to do that. Okay, I discovered the manufacturing tolerances on these is uh, quite loose. If you notice the length of that stud compared to this one. So there, it's just a bolt that's welded on here. And I hope the welds are decent. I mean, they, they look solid. But, um, yeah, they use different length bolts for that. And there's, I, I don't see any reason for that. You're going through the same thickness of metal. Okay, first of all, this is for a CJ, not for a Dnieper. I keep saying Dnieper, not thinking this was, uh, I guess, designed for a Chinese CJ. But either way, um... I spent some time polishing on it with flits and just a hand rag and a little uh, like Dremel tool here uh, to get into the corners and it cleaned up pretty good. Um, might want to take it to a buffing wheel. There's still some you know, dull spots in it where it was just joined together. I mean it really needs to be um, buffed down and brought up to a shine. but. This is good enough for now. I may take it off in the future and buff it out. Okay, I want to mount my mini windshield to the front of the sidecar here. So I've taped it off to just protect the surface while I'm marking and drilling. And I put the 
tano cover on and drew a pencil line where the edge of the tano cover is. So I want to make sure when I put my mounts down that they're in front of this. I want it as close as I can get it but in front so that I can have the tano cover on and not interfere or touch the windshield mount. So now I need to figure out what size hole and where to drill. And I'm also using these tabs as square. I measured from this part of the car to this edge is right at two inches. It is here too on all these. So they seem to be placed fairly well to give me a square reference. So that's what I'm going to use are the tie down tabs here and put the two holes in, center it up, uh, mark it, drill them so that it's centered and get it done. All right, I got this marked off and centered where I want it. And um, I used a spring punch to mark the steel. I'm going to drill about an eighth inch pilot hole and then drill it out with an 11 32nd inch drill bit for the mounting positions. Okay, add a little touch up paint to the bare metal areas. Make sure it's rust protected. And I will put a little dab of uh, like a real thick grease, uh, not, nothing aggressive, but just to help protect it from rust in there and keep water from penetrating. And uh, kind of like a spline grease or something. And put the windshield on. And there you have it, all mounted and ready to go. So we'll test it out. Hopefully the dog will like it. He'll have a little windbreak he can get behind, but otherwise it'll be like an open tub to him. So not hard to do. Uh, again, not the, not the best finish. I can always take it off, take it to a buffing wheel and improve it, but uh, it, it'll do. It's, it's what I'd wanted and expected, so I think it'll do the job.